20,000 jobs that are available in the public sector on an annual basis. But every year, we push into the labor market nearly 1 million people. The youth who are leaving schools at the level of primary, secondary, tertiary, and university. 1 million. This 1 million cannot be employed by 70,000 vacancies available in the public sector. Therefore, the answer is what? Private sector. Private sector must be the major employer in our country. And that private sector must be created. So the only area you can blame the government is by actually stifling the development and growth of the private sector. Like somebody gave you an example here, that somebody comes here with money to want to invest here in this country, but the frustrations that those potential investors undergo, right from the immigration, through the hotels, through the government bureaucracy, and the corruption in the system, frustrate them so that they actually leave this country and go and invest elsewhere. I met an American frustrated. He is telling me that I've been asked to come back in three months' time. This is the third time I'm coming here. And I'm coming all the way from LA in the United States. Do these people know where LA is? It's so far. I'm not going to come again. You see? So this is what's happening. The big problem is bureaucracy. Infrastructure, the cost of infrastructure, particularly energy, and then the corruption in our country is the biggest impediment to private sector investment in our country. And that does not only refer to foreign investors. Even local investors are frustrated the same way. And that's why we say we must change this. I know the kind of frustration that your, your college sector undergoes to be able to make the thing like this. What a quite frustrated Kabisa. Gine na kuja kutafuta at usuru. Gine wana pigwa kila mara kwa mara. Na wali maskari na hitwa kanjo. Kutoleo hapa na pali. We can actually formalize the private sector, I mean the, the Yuakali sector, put up proper shades for them to start where they want to start and also give them access to capital so that they can be able to, 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 to stage their, 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 their businesses. And that's why I've said, we talked of creating a fund for the, the, the youth, where they can be able to borrow money and they don't have to repay until after seven years. <laughs> when those businesses have taken off, that is when they will be required to begin to repay. This will help them. Instead of being running around the town, tamaking, looking for jobs, you become an employer. So being an employee, you become an employer. And there are very many potential employers among you here. You know? If you look at big companies, they are started in very small ways. I'll give you an example of Mr. Toyota. He's a shoeshine boy. Sorry, sorry. No, that's not Toyota, that is Mr. Hilton. Mr. Toyota was a repairer of uh, motorcycles. Then we came a, a repair of, of scooters. They started making motorcycles. Then went to a, a four-stroke engine. Slowly, slowly developed and became the Toyota Empire. It can be done. Have we given an example of Mr. Benz? 
who again did that experiment with his daughter, then took his daughter to experiment riding. Eventually he named that model after his daughter who was called Mercedes. And that's the Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. So we can actually help our people to come up. You know, in the United States, it's more prestigious to be working for General Motors than to be working for Ministry of uh, Home Affairs. Uh, you're working for uh, Microsoft uh, or Boeing. It's more respectable than working for a Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Or is, is it there? Because the private sector is now the biggest employer there. And people are paid much more money in private sector. So I'm telling you that people, if you want to make money and become rich, don't go to the public sector. Public sector, you go there to serve. You don't go there to become rich. What do people make, a mistake they make? And you want to go to become rich in the public sector. Effects on the commission. Here in a little corruption, he does not want to serve, he wants to compete with the private sector in public sector. Hi, Yote to Tamaliza. So, the youth are the engine of development and growth. Now, I'm afraid one of the university students here. Communist power. Power. Communist power. Power. As a little son. You are now studying in the different times. I'm an alumni of the University of Nairobi. In those days, it was very difficult for students. They demand this and that. All the times, the Ascaris were in the campus. They were arrested, beaten up. The university would be closed and so on and so forth. Things are improving, but they have not improved the way they should. There are a lot of frustrations. That's why one of you talks about the, the uh, drugs issues, e effect of drugs on, on students and so on. The thing is, you need to address not the effects, but the causative factors. What is it that drive, drives students into in, into drugs. It is the frustrations, the pressures that they are under. So, so you need to address the causative factors rather than dealing with the consequences. And this we will deal with. We must create a, an conducive environment for our students to be able to learn. Because this is the future of a nation. When I talked at Kazarani, I talked about the ten points. One of them was the right to education. And it's said that each and every child in our country, irrespective of the socio-economic status of the parents, will get equal opportunity from nursery through primary, secondary, tertiary, of the university. And once they have been given the kind of the skills, then they will also be enabled to acquire employment. Those who want to go into uh, uh, paid employment as an employee will be able to get decent jobs that they can do, not pushing wheelbarrows. At the Kazi Nikazi. <laughs> and those who want to go to private sector and make money there will also be enabled through access to capital so they can be able to start their own businesses and prosper. This is what we want to do in this country create a proper opportunity for our people. 
That's why I'm saying that we are